I've recently hosted a wonderful Year 10 work experience student from Nossal High School, a great selective public school in Berwick. Um, that was Arnie Patel. Uh, one of Arnie's tasks was to write me a speech outlining what her peers think about politics and the future of our country. Um, taking this responsibility seriously, Arnie said, yes, all right, what's the deadline? I'll get back to you, and showed outstanding leadership. She didn't presume. She surveyed her Year 10 peers, students, and listened to them. And so here are Arnie's words, and there's a warning. Arnie takes no prisoners. I would like to thank Julian Hill for the opportunity to have my say in Parliament and recognise that this is something that other people my age could only dream of. It can be frustrating to be a young person in this country, to not have a say in the policies that will impact us the most, while those who do get to vote may not live to see the effects. As someone who dreams to be in your position, I would hate to have to be the person reversing your mistakes. The biggest issues my peers expressed concern the environment and climate change. Yet for many people in this parliament, the issue of climate change doesn't seem to be that big a priority. After all, taking action to save the environment doesn't satisfy the lobby groups or mining companies. And after the damage is done, you won't have to worry about the 45 degree summers and rampant natural disasters that will probably become the norm in a few decades time. Yet we're expected to ignore this existential anxiety and instead focus on our studies and our futures as citizens of Australia. But the cost of living, the challenge of owning a home, and the spiralling cost of tertiary education makes this task seem daunting and hopeless. We're also expected to remain optimistic about these challenges, whilst being the first generation raised in the unregulated social experiment of the digital world. We are manipulated by social media algorithms, misinformation campaigns and online bullying, which greatly influences our outlook and our mental health. I am constantly told that my friends and I are the future of this country. Yet parliamentarians' decisions seem to be directed at the voters who determine the next election. So I implore you to uphold your responsibility to make policy that ensures our success and the long-term success of Australia. I urge this parliament to be bold in taking action on carbon emissions to create equitable pathways for all young people to achieve their dreams and to not simply allow big tech companies to manipulate every aspect of our lives in the pursuit of profit. My generation has so much hope for the future and so much we can offer this country. Please don't let our potential go to waste. So thank you, Arnie. Your words inspire me and I hope all of us to redouble our efforts to leave your generation a better world than we see before us today.